Okay guys, this is part three of this series. I don't know how many parts it's going to be because I have a lot to show you, as usual. Um, and it, the details I share because it all, every detail, everything that I am shown that I share with you guys is all part of the bigger picture and the message it needs to get out. And, and I'm going to tell you the message that these videos are pointing to is that something wicked this way comes that things from the spiritual realm as we know from the attacks that we are encountering are ramping up and that that doorway gateway to the pit is about to be opened and you need to guard your hearts and be ready um there's a possibility from things that are in scripture that we could be here for some of that of course, we will be protected, but nonetheless, um, we know that the Bible shows that people endure things to be a witness. Um, we are the witnesses of the Most High being here to things that happen here, so that in the heavenly courts, uh, we are witnesses to the judgment that will come upon the wicked. So anyway, that's the that's what I'm going to be pointing to is that um, we are being warned that dark spiritual forces are already being unleashed and that the big thing is coming. The opening of the pit. So that's what these videos are going to be about. Um, if you're new to my channel, please know that um, whenever I post videos these days, they are usually in four, five, sometimes six or more parts. It just depends on uh, what I need to share. Um, so if you are new and you think that this that the first two videos were all I wanted to say about the 118 advertising, then um, you haven't got the full revelation. So, well, I'm not going to say, just remember to be kind, mind your manners when you're leaving comments. I'm, I'm people these days with their, uh, posting their, their, their haughty opinions. Um, I'm over it. So, uh, I would give someone the benefit of the doubt once if you keep doing it or you post things that are not biblical, e your comments removed and you're blocked. I'm sorry. And in regards to things that are not biblical, I want to make it clear that this channel in no way promotes anything new age. This new age Christ consciousness, which is doctrines of demons. And if you are following that, I love you in Christ. And I don't mean this is not directed at you. I pray that you come out of that de deception. But trust me, Satan has his minions through familiar spirits giving people who take the word and they twist it to their own demonic understanding. And some of the people are being used and they don't realize that what they are putting out for other people to believe and understand is not biblical. They may think that they have the truth, but they do not. So, if you believe things that do not line up with what Scripture says, but it's based on someone's personal interpretation of the Bible through unclean spirits giving them, feeding them lies, then please, you need to ask the Holy Spirit to give you discernment. Not some person on YouTube, including myself. Not, not that I am in any way, shape, or form saying that I am deceiving anyone. I may say something that's not the complete picture because I haven't been given the complete picture like none of us have, but if, if it's something that is not in the Word and it does not line up with His Word, then I do not say it. So there have been comments left on the last video that I'm sorry that those beliefs are not biblical, and I addressed it, and I'm, I'm waiting to see how the person responds. I don't want to have to block anyone because I want them to receive the truth. Um, 
but I do not allow New Age doctrine to be, um, I don't want it, those comments posted on this channel, and I don't believe in none of that, and I, like I said, I would do it to, to try to lead the person to the right path if they don't want to go and they want to continue on their own on a, on a path that's leading to nothing good, then that's their decision. I can't change someone's mind. Um, but I want everyone that may be new to this channel that I do not in any way support any new age Christ consciousness. The word of God does not change. He is the word and he does not change ever. He is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Um, so, that's enough about that. Alright, moving on to the 118, 118. Okay, I do realize that this has been advertising in the UK for many years. That it's nothing new. I didn't put the video up to try to show something new in regards to 118 and the 811 um, date that's been put out there as far as something to watch. I haven't finished my point yet. So, um, and if you stick around, you'll see the point that I'm trying to make. Okay, so I posted on the last two videos, there's an image of this uh, older gentleman sitting on a bench between these two. I think that's what it was of them sitting on the bench. Um, this represents the old number in the UK that you used to dial to receive information. And guess what date that this number stopped and these two numbers began. And I'm, I'm going to get to the point, but <laughs> not right away. So if you can't be patient, then um, feel free to move along. I love you in Christ. So the, obviously they're depicting this as the old number and it's not going to be used anymore. And now these two, these two numbers will be used. Uh, for dialing information, which is, that's key in itself, dialing for information. We know that the other side messages their own um, through these kind of things. So the, the information is mostly for them and their communication with each other, but this is their way of saying when they stand before the Most High, say, well, we warned your children. They just didn't get it. <laughs> so... I'm going to get to that th this this number here in a minute. Let me just scroll down this page because this is key. Okay, so as you see, this gentleman uh, he uh, filed a lawsuit against them because they're basically using his image to uh, in these advertisements, and they claim that no, it wasn't him; it was another runner. But I want you to look at, this is the runner that filed the lawsuit that says that they were using his image for their advertising. Um, this is his name. And um, this is his number, which is interesting. And they claimed, no, we're not making, the image is not about you, which is, they, the guys in the, in the advertisement look exactly like him, of course. We're using this guy, who doesn't look like the guys in the advertisement. His mustache is small, but look at his number. Uh, 116 backwards is also 118, meaning August, as I showed on the calendars. August was originally the sixth month on the Julian calendar, and now it is the eighth month. So I thought that that was interesting that <laughs> his number is this. But um, just wait to what I'm going to show you. Okay. And then I couldn't believe, because <laughs> um, I had already seen the the video that I that I put the link to that Brother Aaron portrayed about who you're gonna call. I'd already seen that video on Thursday, and then that night I decided to rent. No. I think it was Wednesday night that I decided, yes, it was Wednesday night, I decided to rent a movie. And <laughs> there's something in regards to the Rocky movie in the movie that I rented. So the Lord, when he leads me, it, everything connects. So I know that that's him trying to 
give me a message. Okay, so this is what up there, the old man. Look at this. Keith Martin, the account manager at WCRS, said, The campaign has two points of focus. The first is memorability, with the old 192 service being switched off on August 24th. When I saw that, I was like, are you kidding? That's today's date, as I'm recording this. And in the last video, I pointed out that, well, let me show you the calendar. So as you just saw on that ad, and that WordPress was from, well, I'll go back to that in a second. Um, so you saw the date. This was the date that the 192 number was supposed to end, and the 118, 118 began as far as receiving information. That's the key. It, it has, it's not really about the, the number itself. That's irrelevant. It's about what that number is saying and what the message is being, the message is being put out by using those numbers specifically. It's not about the, the service itself. So, um, just keep that in mind. So today, August 24th, is the 236th day of the year, and 118 times 2, which you, if, you, if you watched the video that I linked to and re, regarding the ad, you'll see that there are two guys with the number 118. Um, 118 times 2 is 236, which is today. On this date in, I suppose it was 2003, maybe not. Maybe that's just when the Rocky campaign started. And I'm going to show you how the Rocky and Independence Day and Philadelphia, it all points to their independence from not being able to do everything they want to do, which is basically what they're going to be doing during the tribulation. That's the message. It's about their independence and ultimately ours from this world. That's the message we're putting out, that we're going to be free to do what we want to do. We will no longer be held back by the spirit that is holding back, meaning the Holy Spirit. So apparently this, this number has been being used for longer than someone left a comment saying 20 years, definitely the past 10 years, because that's when the ads um, on YouTube were posted anyway. But here it says 2003, but this is the point I'm trying to make. That they say that that old 192 service stops, is switched off on August 24th. There will be a lot of activity, and so it is all about getting 118, 118 as the most memorable number for customers to use. So, <laughs> do you see how the date I mean, there's nothing, this is not by happenstance. It's not circumstance. This is all put here for a reason. Okay, moving on. Okay, so this is the video. I left links in the first two parts. Um, I'll leave a link in this one also to the 118118 advertising. And there's different, they've done different spoofs. This one, it, this is Ray Parker Jr. who did the um, song that, uh, for the Ghostbusters movie, the soundtrack, uh, head song, uh, the Who Are You Gonna Call? And so he's singing uh, that same tune with different words in this video. Cause, because it's, you know, it's about calling this, this information service is what the ad is about. Okay, so in part of the video, I'm not going to play it, but... Um, and part of the video, he opens up when it says, in the original Ghostbusters song, and this I'm going to show you the ties to Ghostbusters, because it has to do with demonic entities from another dimension being let in, which is what the Ghostbusters movies are all about. Um, and in the original score from the movie, the song, the soundtrack of the movie, you know, he says... I ain't, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Well, in this advertisement, he opens up the back of a car and two goats jump out. Goats. And he says, I ain't afraid of no goats. Okay. What does the Bible say about goats? Let's look. 
Okay, we're going to Matthew 25. Of course, this is about the wise and the foolish virgins. But down here, at the bottom of this chapter, let's start with, with verse 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, meaning the sheep, Come, ye blessed of my, of my father, and inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was in hunger, and he gave me meat. So let's go on down to verse 41. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed. Who was on the left? The goats. They are cursed. Into everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels. So these are unbelievers. These are the devil's children. These are not redeemable. The goats are not redeemable. Um, and these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. So, so when he says in this advertisement, I ain't afraid of no goats, he's talking about demonic, unclean spirits of the dead. Those who are unredeemable. That's basically what he's saying. Goats, ghosts, ghosts are demonic spirits. They're not, you know, um, anyone who is, uh, have been saved by the blood of the Lamb, a believer in Jesus Christ, once they die, they don't come back. They are with Him. They don't speak to the living. They don't come back. So, ghosts, spirits that people um, encounter are demonic spirits. They are unclean spirits that are wandering because they are they don't have a place. Either they've come from the pit or they're wandering the earth. This ties to the Nephilim, which were the children, the offspring that came from the fallen angels meeting with women, Genesis 6. Because that union, union was unholy and unsanctioned by the Most High, when those children died, their spirits roamed the earth, which are demons, because they had nowhere to go. So, when he says, I ain't afraid of no goats, and in the original song, it's I ain't afraid of no ghosts, it's unclean spirits, which tries directly to the Ghostbusters movie. So last night, I'm going to cut this off here in a minute, guys, and then we'll continue in the next part because I have some more stuff. Um, last night, I was led to watch the stupid third edition of the Ghostbusters uh, movies. Um, when it came out, I had no desire whatsoever to watch that because I knew what it was all about. So I only watched it to see what was in there and their stuff in there. Um, for those who haven't seen it. Uh, it's the, th the three women that are the Ghostbusters, and um, basically they took the original storyline and just re redid it with them three instead of, you know, the Dan Aykroyd and Bill Murray and the other guy. And they, their job, of course, is to. Uh, capture the demonic spirits that are being released by someone in the movie who is <laughs> opening he's placing these devices around New York City and opening portals to let these demonic spirits through and his goal is is to open a vortex and let all of them in uh, which is tied to particle physics and um, the C E R N that's what they're doing. So, um, I think the father is trying to say that they are being successful in opening small gateways, letting things in. Uh, and I actually got confirmation of that. Yesterday, I listened to Skywatch TV with Derek Gilbert and his wife. 
uh, the video they put up yesterday, and there was lots of confirmations to things that people have been leaving comments about, and about the fact that things are being let in. So I received uh, several confirmations from just watching that one video over there yesterday in regards to this topic. So the point is, is I'm these videos are to warn that get ready. Um, and when we say myself and, and Brother Keith from Many Fish, and it's interesting because the last video that he put up a couple days ago, he had who you're going to call in his video, and I thought it was about this. I hadn't watched it yet. So I watched it last night, and it's, it's about fluoride in the water and chemtrails. It has nothing to do <laughs> with this ad, but he had who you're going to call in the title of his video. And as he says... At the end of every video, he plays uh, the the audio from Ephesians 6 that about putting on your armor. Your armor is Jesus Christ. It's not anything that you, you can do on your own. Like, here, let me take this helmet of salvation and put it on. Let me... It's the uh, He's the armor. He is the armor. He is the only one that will protect us from these things. Not anything we can do ourselves but him and him alone. If you do not have a personal relationship with him, if you have not accepted him as your Lord and Savior, I implore you to do it now. He is going to be your armor against these things, and him alone. So, it, through our trials and tribulations, he, he is trying to make us understand that. He has ministered to me because I just came out this past week of three days of spiritual attack. And when I was coming out of it, he was ministering to me. His Holy Spirit was ministering and saying, I allow this so that you understand that I am your armor. And that when you are being attacked, you must seek me. You must call upon my name. You must rebuke and bind these unclean spirits. And do not let them have a strong a foothold over you. You have to stand strong in Him. That's why in Ephesians 6 it says, Having done all, having put on Him as your armor, you stand. In other words, that's your part. To stand in Him and Him alone. And yes, because we are in this weak flesh, we can get knocked down. We can get weary. But He's the one who will lift us up. And the standing is to trust in Him to lift you up. That's what helps you to stand back up. If you don't trust in Him to lift you back up, then you'll stay down. And that's what the enemy wants. Okay, so I'm cutting this off here, guys. Um, come back for the next part because um, I have some more things to share that were in that Ghostbusters movie that tie to this, what I'm showing you right now i could not believe it when i saw it so um so i will see you guys in the next video and uh the reason i put part one i don't put part one of because i don't know how many parts it's going to be until i'm done so you'll just have to what i'll do when i get to the last one and i'll and i usually do it anyway when i think that okay that's it i've showed everything i'm going to show then i will tell you but until i say that just keep watching the different parts and then you'll know that you're done when I say that I'm done. So, okay, I'll see you in the next video. Love you guys.